Do you guys hear that? That is the sound of the universe throwing me a bone because I am dying right now. I just went on an interview where my interviewees had not one, not two, not three, but four cats. And I am so unbelievably allergic. How, why isn't this opening? There we go. Guys, there is just one pill left inside my Claritin bottle, just one. Like I can't believe how lucky I feel right now. I need this so badly. The second I walked in, I knew I could feel like my throat just being like, Ugh. and I've been sneezing. My nose has been running. It's awful. It is just absolutely awful. So I need to take this now. I need to get water. And now I need to take off my makeup just to put it back on again. And that might sound very odd, very weird, but I promise you guys, there is a reason behind this because the next time you see me, I will have no face makeup on and I'll be with a very special guest. You'll see. And we are here with Bob Herzog, who is our anchor here at Local 12 for GMC. A lot of you guys probably know him. None of you do, and it's okay. No, it's okay. No, Bob, I get so many comments from people saying that they know you. They watched, he went viral before I even met you. So I knew you before you knew Did me. you really? Yes, oh my gosh, when I came to Local That's 12. That's kinda. I was like, this is Bob Herzog. But yeah, so we had the bright, actually I say we, Bob had the bright idea for us to do our makeup together because I, I have seen a few of his wake up and makeups and let's just say his process is a lot different than mine. Yeah, yours is more about, I think, an elegant, well done makeup extravaganza and mine is, OMG, let's get this done as fast as we can. <laughs> It's You're great. a sweaty freak. Just put something on your face. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask questions for Bob, and that's gonna be interesting too. We have a lot of interesting questions. So we've got a lot going on. Do you wanna present your toolbox? I say yeah. it look, it's like a little tool bag. Like <laughs> this is his makeup bag. Look, it's got Boba Fett on it. How do you wanna start? Start with step one. Oh wait, gotta do the headband, you know? Okay. Oh, I should have brought you one. That's not a thing I really have to do. <laughs> Although right now, my hair is reaching the length where I have to make a decision. I have to either cut it so I can go back to the semi-spiky thing, or I have to start swooping it. I have to have swoop. you ever swooped? I've done a semi-swoop. Not a complete swoop, semi-swoop. I don't semi -swoop. I've ever seen you with a swoop. Semi-swoop. It's, ha it's happened. Wow. True story. When I first did the swoop, this is like three, four years ago, just as a thing, people called the station. We got complaints. What? Okay, yeah. but that's how you know you've made it. Like, no one would ever call the station for anything I do. Oh, you'd be surprised. Just a disclaimer, guys, you're probably very confused. I'm wearing eye makeup because Bob actually doesn't wear eye makeup. You might be um, surprised to find out. So I figured we'll just skip all of that. They're shocked. <laughs> They're shocked. They're shocked. Those lashes are natural, you're telling me? Wait, so now I'm curious, Bob. What is step one for you? Um, okay, step one for me is this concealer stick. That That's step one? Step one! Are you sure about Absolutely that? Absolutely sure. You don't prime your face? Well, I, after I shave in the morning, I slap whatever body lotion my wife happens to have sitting on the sink on my face as like an aftershave. So I consider that sort of a, a setting, a setting thing. Like I've, uh, set, it, like I've well, set it up. I gotta go solo on this one then. So, what, so what's the, what are you doing? So guys, this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. You gotta put the primer on before. Why is it purple? Yeah, it's purple. I don't know, but then it obviously turns regular skin color. Okay, so you do concealer, so you don't do foundation? Yeah, I do that, but I do that after concealer. No! No, That Mom. just happened. No. Yes, I did. Yes, I do. Why? You bet your bottom dollar. Who told you that? I can't remember if anyone did. I guess we're going to have to go in different directions here. Because <laughs> I'm is, not doing that this, first. This is where, this is where our paths <laughs> right, step diverge. One. Step one. Yeah, on step one. We have Man. Because you're already, this is already step two for you. I haven't even, I'm not even on step one yet. Oh my God. Can I explain my little clickety stick? Yeah. I like the stick because it's like wielding a, a tiny little lightsaber, which is fun for me. Um, Exhibit it's, right, it's right there. It makes a little, I think I made that sound before. It's just, oh It gosh, makes your day. So much. And just given when we work, do you find that there are places that are darker and unusual looking just by virtue of the fact that we sleep like no human being should actually sleep? I had no idea like what no. eye bags were until this shift. It's oh, awful. It's you guys, it's off. It's, it's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it really does stink. Well, and I, I think I, I probably told you this shortly after you started that you just you get to a place where you get used to feeling nauseous all the time. Like I'm, I always feel like I'm gonna be sick. Wait, you said that to me? I may have. Did you know I've been going through nausea, and every time I say it, everyone's like, "You're pregnant." I'm like, "Okay, then I've been pregnant for three, four years no, since I started." Is that about exactly how long you've been here? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't. Yeah, that's just. A oh thing. my god! I, yes, in between live shots, you never know. But I'm like, wow, am I gonna puke on air today? Yeah. I almost tweeted that this morning. Yeah. That's my worst fear. Like, yeah. Am I just gonna vomit? Nope. It's, imagine, just, it's imagine just a very natural. Hey, vomit. Thing. <laughs> Bob, back to that. You're doing foundation first. See, that just. Yes. I just don't even understand. That. Oh man. That doesn't even make Everyone's any sense come to me. Everyone's How long does your process take you in full? If you're not in a rush and you're taking your time. Oh, if I literally had had the time, I would take like I enjoy it. I would make myself take two hours, but probably twenty minutes. You're kidding about the two hours, right? No. That's like, the scariest thing I've if ever If I want, like, life. seriously, like, I, like, I'm going to a concert on Saturday, I'm gonna map out, like, hours just so I can, like, sit there and, like, oh, I love it. You are. <laughs> no, seriously, like, mm. by the end, like, I have to, like, tell myself to t put down the makeup products because. Are you going to see Kiss in concert and you're putting on, like, Kiss makeup? <laughs> no. No. On a bad day? Where I've got to get it done fast, I can do mine in about three and a half minutes. Okay, but that, yeah, that would never happen for me. I, I can't even three, imagine. Three and a half minutes. On a bad day. It's unbelievable. And you just have to accept you're gonna poke yourself in the eye several times and just go with it. You just have to go. And you know you're gonna cry. Have you ever gone on air without makeup? Yeah. Really? I've gone yeah. on air without my shoes. What? <laughs> okay, that's a okay, quick story. That sounds like a story. I woke up one time, I'm like, oh no! Like that. I literally, oh no! I knew. And I had overslept. <laughs> so I just grabbed everything and ran to my car. Like, so I am pretty unclothed in my car. Too much information, I realize. And so I'm, I'm driving and I'm, you know, your stoplights and you're pulling things on. That's what I'm doing and I'm driving. But my shoes, I was positive around the back seat of the car because I had been <laughs> jogging the day before. And so I thought I just, I had left them back there. I get here, I had not. So I run in, in, in my bare feet. I hit the studio door. Bob, we're at 10 seconds. I'm like, ah. So I sprint over to the monitor. And I have, I have no shoes. I have no shoes. And they tossed to me, and our director had set up the shot on my feet. So literally, the, the newscast started with my bare feet. What? But I made it. I made it in time. Should I talk to you about the dots real quick? Yeah. yeah. What are those dots for? They tie me into my cosmic power in the universe. Yeah? Yeah. You feel it? And that's all it does. That's the only reason they're there. I did them once. <laughs> yeah, because they, 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 you have nothing there's going no, on? There's no reason. No, there had been once one summer I got I got too much sun and so I got like a couple of dark spots on my head and so that's how it started and I just haven't stopped. So now they're my power dots and if I don't do them towards my the rest of it. Dots? I don't know. I just added those recently. <laughs> what the heck? Um, can I ask you about your blending your little doodah there? Oh yeah. Do you have one? No oh, gosh no. Um do you You do don't you, have one? No, I just because of those little thingies come in here. There's already one in here. Oh look, look how that's in there. Oh already. look at that. Isn't that great? They, they give you they give you these for Whenever free. Whenever they give me them, I like chuckle as I throw it in the trash. Oh no, these are nice. What is that, by the way? Another Revlon product, one step compact makeup thing. <laughs> Wait, what, why are you doing that before you blend? I'm gonna blend with this. What? <laughs> are you kidding me? No. The, are you blending with it? Yeah. Wow. Let's see. All right, give me. I'm scared. It's all, for your face. It's, I can't. it's all gonna just. Shh. Magical blend of. I've herbs honestly and never seen such a thing. Well, there's probably a, probably a pretty good reason for that. Yeah, <laughs> but like I have to say, you look no like the end result, guys. <laughs> even in person, normal. <laughs> you look normal. You look normal. I don't get that a lot. That's all you could ever want in <laughs> that's, life. That's always been my goal. Now I have to ask a, a, a semi weird thing. Do you do anything with your ears? No. Okay. See. Because I have large saucer-like ears on either side of my head that stick out like tiny satellite dishes. I hit him with some bronzer. Oh my gosh, guess what? I forgot a product. You want to borrow something from my bag? <laughs> you don't. I promise you, you don't. But what did you forget? Just out of curiosity. I forgot my powder, guys. Man, this is very disappointing, guys. I love. I swear by my translucent powder. <gasps> Who doesn't? Yeah, no kidding. I normally have two powders, though. I go a little crazy because there's nothing worse than being shiny. You have two powders. I have to tell you guys, normally I bake my face. I don't even know what that means. I literally don't know what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> Everyone out there knows. What, is that, what does that mean? You take your powder and then you take your beauty blender. This is a beauty blender. Yeah. And you like put all of your white powder on and then you continue all of your other makeup while it bakes. And then you slide it off and suddenly you look so much more awake. I literally haven't looked awake since 2007. Okay, I'm on to bronzer. I'm on to bronzer. And I have a new bronzing routine. It has oh. made all the difference. Okay. Well, what, difference. What, well, tell me what you do. So I have discovered cream contour, everyone. I've talked about this in my last two videos, so oh. this is a lot, I know, okay? But cream contour, where it's a, you would love this, it's a stick. Oh. Where do you put your brush? I go, I go cheeks hard. You do cheeks? Cheeks hard. Now wait, wait for it, wait for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a thing that's gonna impress you. You ready? And then I go my threes and E's. My 
threes in my E's. Oh my okay, God. that is true. I was taught that by an actual that, person. That person. is. That Shivali is, Gaba. That, okay. After I kind of hit it a little bit, I'll use what's left to kind of tie in down on my neck because I have a very long lizard-like neck. I'm going in with my second bronzing product. What are you doing? I just kind of blended my bronzer in a little bit and now I'm going to powder up and I'm done. No blush? No. I didn't know there was a difference between bronzer and blush. Oh. They seem like the same thing. No. And I thought, I was told that blush is, is like an old-timey word and nobody really does blush anymore or nobody calls it blush. No, rouge. Rouge. Yeah, rouge is not a thing. What's rouge? That sounds thought, like an older I thing. I thought it was like blush. Oh, I feel like I've like read that in like a book or something, maybe. Boom. No more judging for me. By the oh, way, I'm you're done. done. Yeah, Shoot. So done. Well, do you want to know this fun little product? This is a shimmery thing. You put it, you go <gasps> boop, boop, boop. And then on the... You boop, boop, boop too? You... Never maybe it was... I was boop, boop, boop. Oh, wow. Well, 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 more in common than I thought. And it's not complete without my lips, guys. I actually do three products. On your lips? Yeah. There's a lot that I don't know or understand. No, and you never will. No, that's that's become that's become very clear. <laughs> but okay, I have a couple of questions for you. Well, a lot of people were interested. How did you become an anchor? And I know it's a it's all it's it's a crazy story, guys. Yeah, um I'll, I'll try to give you the, the, the Cliff's Notes version. So when I first started college, I was a pre-med student. My dad was a doctor and it was always kind of like, well, we a doctor. I like to talk a lot. I don't know if you picked that up for me at all. And so I'm like, that. maybe this is not the right path. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Long story short, ended up doing some radio before I got out of college. Didn't love it. Ended up touring with a children's theater company for a while. Got married, started a family, and it was, you can only change into your King Arthur costume in the janitor's closet so many times. Where you're like, <laughs> I probably should get a job. Decided to go to law school because I'm like, well, I could, I could, that's a job I could do and I'll be able to take care of my family the way I want to and all of that. So, and while I was in law school, I auditioned to be the movie host at Channel 64. Like One Tree Hill was on there. Yes, yes, stuff, right? I have heard of that. Anyway, so I was their movie host and on, on the weekends, like a movie marathon would be on and I would come on during the commercial breaks and I would be like, hey, hey, hope you're enjoying the movie, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Got to do and experience lots of different things TV wise, but there really wasn't much else for me to do because it was a WV station. There was no news over there at the time. Ended up as I graduated from law school, I'm gonna be a lawyer. And I kept hosting the movies on the weekends. Fast forward a little bit, I get a chance to go to London, England, to do the movie junket for Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> I'm literally sitting at the airport. And at that point I had stopped working as an attorney and I was working full time at Channel 64, helping them with like promotions and stuff. And my wife calls me. She said, my dad just called and she's crying. I'm like, oh boy, this, this can't possibly be good. My law license was about to be suspended because I had not paid my dues to keep it up with the Supreme Court of Ohio because I wasn't practicing. We didn't have any money. I wasn't making any money. I mean, I was making very little. She's crying. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm sitting at the airport, getting ready to fly to London. And I'm like, you know what, honey, when I, when I get back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit all this stuff at the station and I'll go back, see if I can get my job back at the law firm, and that'll be it. I've been trying to do whatever this thing is for a long time. I feel emotional right now. I yeah, it was it was bad. Uh, it was bad because uh, it was it was like the dream was the dream was about to die. Like literally, like I'm done. I can't. It's not gonna work. Whatever it was, I was trying to make work, and I'm not even sure I knew back then. I hang up the phone. I'm literally just sitting there, like in tears. They, like people are probably walking by me there for like. What is wrong with this freak show? Because I'm an ugly crier, like just snot and just all of it. Terrible. Phone rings again. And it's literally the news director from this television station at the time, Albert Tucker. And I tell Albert all the time, I said, man, you, you changed my life with one phone call. Because going back to when I was doing radio stuff way back in college and, and for a little bit after, I did a lot of traffic reports. And Albert and I had talked a couple times over the years. I was desperately trying to get a job where I could be full time on the air somewhere doing something. There were no traffic reporters at that time. Like nobody, that was not a thing people did in a, in a market of our size at the time. And he called me and he said, uh, what are you doing? Getting ready to fly to London. <laughs> still, I'm still crying. Okay, that sounds great. Why are you upset? And I kind of explained to him what was going on. And he said, uh, call me when you get back. I think we got something for you. And that was November 2005. Started here in December. And it's been crazy ever since. So I, so I started. Your way up. Yeah, yeah. I started doing. I started doing traffic. Then the guy who had been anchoring on Saturdays left. And I went to Elbert's office, like, I'll do it. I'll work six days a week. I'll do travel for you during the week, and I'll come in on Saturday, Saturday mornings and anchor. And so they gave me that opportunity. The next thing I know, I'm anchoring during the week, like, just the stuff on 64. And now I get to be out there and hang out with Sheila every day. That is so insane. I, like, didn't even realize that full story. Yeah, it's a it's a weird... It's not, it's not the way people find themselves in this job most of the time. 
No, but also it's like I feel like people look at you and they're like, oh, he's just always been an anchor, you know? Like especially when I met you, he's just like, oh, he. That's the thing. You just would never know. Yeah, it's a and weird. You worked your butt off six days a week. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's one of those things where you look back and every everything I did, as weird as the path was, each piece of it led to the next thing. Do you know what I mean? Even though it it shouldn't have. It's no, it's not the way you'd normally draw the path, but it all it all clicked. I, I met somebody here, or I did a thing there that gave me the experience that I needed to do this, and off you go. That's so crazy! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Super weird, super weird, but super cool. Did you know when you started doing your YouTube videos way back in the ninth grade, did you have any idea that this was the path that you would be on? Like, no. Did you know? I wanted to be a lawyer in high school, but... Shut up, really? Yes. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I always it's wanted a... to be a lawyer. Third piece of common ground we have just... Oh my gosh, yeah! That's number three. I find it very interesting, but I know it's also way less glam... I think it's glamorous as well, though. A lot of work. Oh, a lot of work and, and not exactly, you know, Tom Cruise and A Few Good Men. Yes, you, yes. You know what I mean? It's... I mean, I have never seen that movie, but I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> a lot of people were asking, do you have an embarrassing moment? Like, have you ever had an embarrassing moment on air? So many of my most embarrassing moments are things I have intentionally done. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've intentionally done something that I know is going to look stupid or silly or whatever, but I've sort of been in control of it. So that's not the exact yeah. kind of thing. It's funny, I literally just posted one today. When Dance Party Friday was in its heyday, I, I every once in a while I would write a, a musical parody to a song. And so I took Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball and it was during right as pumpkin spice lattes like that season and I made it pumpkin, y'all. And now I'm finding you in every store In my belly you'll be getting in My mouth is like a pumpkin door Probably get some pumpkin on my chair. It's so bad. Like oh my it's gosh. so like I literally just posted it today because everybody's talking about pumpkin spice lattes coming back, right? I literally just posted it again and people are like, this is like the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm like, I know. Like there's no way I should have kept my job after that. Like it's so bad. Like it's so laughably, and that's I think that's probably what makes it watchable. Yes. It's, it's that it's that bad. Now I can remember things that happened where they weren't planned. We had a story and this person who was involved in the story was a reverend. A reverend. There's a concert venue in town called Riverbend. Producer, God bless him, in a hurry, had written Riverbend. <laughs> and then this person's last name. It was it was a script I had not looked at beforehand. And so it's rolling up and I'm like, and the Riverbend something something. I'm like, oh no. Something terrible has just happened. So, I mean, th those kind of things happen. I, I won't say they happen regularly. They happen to the extent that I don't really think of them because you have to flush that stuff immediately. Yes. You, you'll, you'll just, you know, you, you've been on a live show, I'm sure, where, where something's happened. You're like, I did not say that the right way, or I, I stumbled on a word or whatever, and you just get like, mm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you something terrible. What? Okay. He goes into a drawer. I used to keep scripts that had bombs in them. What? Oh my gosh, you have any funny ones? Oh, this one, it's slightly inappropriate and I don't know whether to share it or not. It's my favorite one. It's my its my absolute 100. This this would qualify from that question is my, not my most embarrassing moment, but certainly would be close to the top. There is a park in town that has a black walnut festival. In and of itself, that doesn't sound funny or embarrassing, right? It's just a black walnut festival. I'm doing a story and I'm standing in front of this monitor to talk about the black walnut festival. I have not looked at the script in advance because this was a Saturday morning. Black Walnut Festival returns to Wynton Woods. There will be many nut-themed activities, including nut tossing. Uh, literally, the words are the words are coming, and there's nothing inherently wrong about what I said, and every line of it was true. But yeah, this was going back when we got faxes from people. One year, when I was doing Dance Party Friday, so on a Friday morning, we got like you know, six, eight inches of snow. So like, there was something big and serious going on. I want dance, because they're, they're actual things to talk about. You canceled Dance Party Friday because of snow? How absurd is that? And they go on to say, I'm gonna watch the other station. Because you didn't dance, <laughs> monkey boy. Wait, I've got another really embarrassing one. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my gosh, I have to think of it. This was one of those things where it was all these ellipses and they didn't leave the space. So it split the word. The word was identified which is a perfectly readable word. We've seen the word identified before. We know what it looks like. We can read this word. Well, the way it's split, I got I-D-E-N up here and I got to find down here. And I literally read it as a person's name. Iden Tafayad. What? As some new wanted criminal 
Beware of the wanted man. Identify it. He could be loose in your neighborhood even as we speak. I pick up the phone and like, hey, next time, um, remember to leave the space after the ellipse because that just ruined my life. Okay, ready? Yeah. What was your first impression of me? I don't think I met you before I saw you on the air. My initial reaction, and I'm not just blowing smoke, I said, She's just naturally good on camera. I said, you could put her in any situation and she's gonna be fine. Wow, that's so nice. Yeah, no, I mean, for real. Different people have different skill sets, skill sets right? You, there's just, it, there's, it's very natural. It comes very natural to you. The first time I saw you out in the field, I'm like, she's gonna, she'll be, she'll be great. And I was glad, I was glad we had you on the morning show, especially because I felt like you would get more opportunities to do things that you would do at a level that other people can't do because you're you're willing to sort of put yourself out there a little bit. And especially in what we do, that doesn't always happen. Look, there are a lot of people who are a lot more straight laced and buttoned up than yeah. you and I are. I mean, and that's and that's okay. Do you know what I mean? And and I'll I'll always sort of have that. You're the dance party Friday guy. You're the you're the makeup guy. You're the well, you know blah, 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 blah. and that's cool. And I get that. And you know, some people don't don't want that when they watch the news. They want. It needs to be serious all the time. Yeah. And I'm just not that guy. I'll be plenty serious when I need to be serious. Right. But if I don't, you know, have to be and it's something fun, I'm going to acknowledge that it's fun. I get a little bit of that that vibe from you, too. That you're, that I think because your background was a little different in the sense that you were doing all of this before you got to the station, made you much more comfortable doing things that I think other people wouldn't be comfortable doing. You were one of the first people I worked with on the air who I literally could be your father. Wait, you know what's so funny, Bob? My dad, Yeah. opposite. He is an Irish, he's from Ireland. Okay. He doesn't, like, he talks. <laughs> <laughs> he can speak. No, but like, he's so reserved. So, so my dad is why I am, everyone's, so everyone when they meet me, when they met me is shocked. Why is she, I'm very just like, people might think I'm standoffish. They think it's the New York in me. I'm like, it's my Irish father. Just so reserved, just not. You're like, quiet in social settings. Yes. Yeah. No, I totally get that. I'm. Yeah. A, I'm. 100% but then, but then same way. also, like, well, then when I'm with people, like, once I'm, out, like, I'm the like, it's just weird. Once it's the group of people that I'm comfortable yes, with. Yes. Yeah. Let's but go. I'm not. I'm not about to just like be in the newsroom, like, what up, like, guys, like, I, I'm, I'm to myself, and like, right. I don't like, I, like, if I'm just out with people, I don't want to be like the center of attention. I know that sounds so weird because we do this, but like, I just. Oh. Yeah. If I'm at a part, like, a, at a party or some event where I don't know a lot of people yeah oh my gosh because I, I would say i'm introverted i'm an introverted extrovert and oh my yeah. jen dalton and i have had this exact what? Really? this literal exact conversation before really i totally feel that totally yeah. feel that yeah but also the one thing is it's like as soon as someone talks because i'm not shy as soon as someone talks to me like like i'll light right. up like i'm not like I'm not, like, it's just, I just prefer to, like, just be alone, like, just to myself. I almost feel like somebody else has to pull me into the conversation. Yeah, yes. Oh, exactly. I'm Once I'm in, in, I'm in. But yes. I have to, like, if I'm emceeing an event, let's say, sort of, you know, we get to go out and do a lot of that kind of thing. And I enjoy doing that kind of thing because inevitably it's a really cool organization and they're trying to help people. I'll be at, I don't know, some convention center or whatever. I will, when it's time for, like, when things over, I will literally step away from the podium, say goodbye to the organizer, yeah. whoever. And I will go out like the back door. Yes, like, the Irish exit. Like literally where the staff goes out. Yes. You know what I mean? Like the people who are like serving the food. And I'm, I'm like in the kitchen. I'm like, hey, where's the exit? They're yes. like, it's back up here, guy. I'm like, thanks. Yeah. Just because I get, I get nervous. I get, I, I get, I get like oh, almost yeah. like social anxiety talking to people that I don't, I don't know. Introverted extrovert. That's what I always say. No, at hundred percent, hundred percent understand that. And like I need to like recharge being alone. Like some people get their their charge from being with people, but like. No, like I have to, oh, I, gosh, I can't. No. Like that, I, that if, takes it all out of me. If I've got a choice between between going out and doing a thing and sitting at my house, oh my gosh, I, know. I will totally sit at my house. Same. Unless it's, it's so something I really, really want to do. Same. I'm the same I'm, exact way. I'd much rather stay in. I, same. Yeah. Oh my gosh, wow, that's crazy. Totally. Common ground, boom. All right, I was about to say, four. we're merging. It's four. People want to know what your schedule is. They know about my split yeah. schedule. What do you yeah. do? I split up my sleep. Kids up, my wife's up. I don't I don't feel like I miss things. I don't want to miss time with my two youngest. My, my two oldest are already um, out of the house, but my two youngest, you know, we're, we have events to do and homework to do and, you know, all the things. And I want to be in, you know involved with that stuff. I try to get in bed if I can by like 9.30. I'll get up about 2.30. So I get, you know, four-ish three and a half, four-ish hours of sleep at night. Come in, usually I get here 3.45-ish. Then I'll come up here and I'll take this iPad and I'll sit it over there and I'll 
I might wake up and make up stuff and get ready. The first half hour of Good Morning Cincinnati, I'm, I'm solo at the desk. And then just off we go the rest of the morning. I get home around lunchtime, more or less, and then I go to sleep again. How many hours do you sleep? Probably three. Okay. Um, yeah. That's, that's, similar, that's very similar to my sleep schedule. Do you do the same? You split it up? Yeah, I'm a three or four. Okay. Yeah. From one to five normally is my goal. Yeah. And then, yeah, I go to bed at like 10 30. And it's interesting because a lot of people just, they say they can't do that. And yes. I, I've kind of gotten used to it. It's not that I like it necessarily, but I'm used to it. I'm so used to it now. It'd be so hard to go back. Right. Well, do, would you switch up on the weekends or do you keep it the same on the oh, weekends? Oh, no, I switch it up. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. no way. Hey, Absolutely. guys, gotta go home for my nap. Gotta go sleepy time. This was fun, guys. Super oh my fun. God. Yay! Now, when are we when are we going to do another one where you try to do your makeup the way I do my makeup and I try to do my makeup the way you do so your makeup? So basically, I'm going to look ugly. And Not, but you look good, though. Let's clarify. Okay. Okay, that just, just, sounds... I just Do we know what she just said there? But, oh my gosh, wait, that actually would be great. Wouldn't that be funny? Yes. We'll, we'll see how people react to this, and if they liked it, maybe we can do that. And if yeah. not, that's okay. Heck but yeah. This is super fun. Well, yeah, this was awesome. So. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Be sure to follow Bob on Facebook. That's where he does most of his stuff. But yeah, yeah. thanks for coming on.